I'm freaking out here because some amazing Gunpla builds are on display here at New Type HQ's BuildCon. We have our own Gunpla con convention um, celebrating Mecca and fan builds uh, in San Francisco. I'm checking out the display area, taking, appreciating all the hard work, hundreds of hours in these kits, and I'm gonna chat with some of the builders over at the competition, check out some custom builds. But ah, this is my happy place. So now I'm joined by Benson. Benson here has brought a really unique take on this diorama. Uh, it is a really, it looks like it's a vintage Gundam. What, what is this? Right, uh, actually it was a, a trip to Japan. It was my second time to Japan. I went to Odaiba and they had a, a, a floor full of Gundams. And all the way from this kit, which is from 1980s, uh, the vintage kit, uh, all the way to the, the most modern versions. And this one really caught my eye. So I got it actually six, seven years ago. And it was on my shelf collecting dust oh, until just that. recently. I know. That's very familiar. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so you were inspired to do something with it. Right. So you put it together, and I've put together some like really old kits before. They the finish is different, they move different, the plastic, you know, may have warped over time. What was the condition when you put that together? Right. So uh, this was actually the only kit that I that I have. And Compared to the, the most recent, like the contemporary models, the joint isn't, isn't really flexible. It's hard to move, it's hard to pose it in a more dynamic way. So for this build, I thought, um, how can I play off the, the original attributes and design something that, that fits? Um, since the original kit doesn't have a lot of details compared to the recent kits, uh, I decided to make it into a statue. Yeah. Of course, and then it ties completely into the story of it being something older, right. something yeah. more vintage, more ancient. Right. Um, and it's a very beautiful static pose. Now, before you got to the greenery, talk about the paint here, because I do see there's do see extra bits and pieces, some texturing to it. What is that? Right, gotcha. Um, so for the paint, uh, I actually use Krylon, and there's a cement texture paint. And as opposed to doing airbrush like, like most kits here, uh, I just spray paint the whole entire thing. And afterwards, I use a brush and use a little acrylic to add more texture and the green moss look mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Around, around the kit here. I do see it's not just one color. There is, it is uh, a kind of concrete color and then you have the kind of like almost a wash of green on there. I see you carved into it as well. Right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And that crawling helped us fill it up or did you have to add some filler in to, to patch? Right, so I add the filler in between the joints because I think that's important. Um, if you look closely, uh, since it's a statue, it shouldn't have any gaps between the joints. So I use putty to, to fill those up. And since it's a post-war statue, I decided to add a lot of like gun holes, yeah. uh, a, lot, a lot of slashes across, and actually chop off the hand and make that into a little pedestal for these uh, this couple here. Um, yeah, since this kit was from 1980s, and it's one of the very, very first kit, and the storyline behind it was they had a one-year war that's happening between the original Gundam and the, the main bad guy, which is the Zeon. And I got the Zaku, and this is a alternative uh, reality where the Zaku had won, so they had they erected the statue of the Zaku, Zaku. here. Got it. Exactly. Got the antagonist for the Gundam. Yeah. <laughs> and that actually, the scale here, I assume these are just HO, like train, model train exactly. scale figures. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That helps tell the full story. That and of course the little bull here, yeah, the yeah. tree, without those, not only gives you the sense of scale, but tells you this is peacetime. Right. Right. Like they're right, not right. in still in battle. This is years right. past. That is gorgeous. Benson, thank you so much for oh, sharing yeah, your story with us. And a good luck on the competition. All right, thank you so much.